Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, nice to see you. How are you today? Did you get? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Is, is it raining over there where you live? Is it raining there? Uh, no. No. It's okay. not raining it. Ah, it's not raining on over here a little bit, but a little bit, not that much, but uh, it was it was raining a little bit. So, I, so hi Marvin, Ali, are you ready? Hi teacher. I, yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Good. Excellent. Katarin, how are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, do you, <laughs> ah, good, excellent. Do you receive the material that I send you? The materials, the audios, the worksheets, and some, a couple exercises that I put over there. Hi, Jacqueline. Emily, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, nice to see you. Okay, we're Hi. going to wake. Uh, I was saying that. Uh, well, let me. Uh, the more people come because right now you are only ten and me eleven. Thirteen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Nubia. How are you? Doing good? Fine, fine. fine. And okay. you? I'm doing good. Running. <laughs> because I was, uh, I was driving fast to get here uh, before seven. I... I went to the institute, so running, but I'm here. That's the important thing. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, this one I'm going to say it in Spanish. Oigan, por ahí les envié un material. Es importante este que uh, al Agregué algunos ejercicios de lo que estamos viendo, de las oraciones afirmativas, negativas, eh, preguntas y respuestas cortas. Agregué unos ejercicios ahí, primero Dios, el, el jueves, antes de la clase. Espero que ya los hayan desarrollado para que los podamos revisar. La idea de los audios, no, no la idea. El objetivo de los audios es que practiquemos nuestra producción del idioma. A través de la, créanme, se los digo con causa de conocimiento, a través de la repetición, el, agarramos el idioma, ¿ok? So, escuchamos los audios, la ventaja de ellos que son native speakers y otros son de diferentes partes del mundo, pero, y el otro, el de los verbos, ahí les agregué 50, una lista de verbos de los más comunes y regulares, e incluso yo hice el audio, no será de estudio, pero ahí se va, algo les va a ayudar, ¿ok? Para que usted pueda escucharlo y repite eh, con ello, ¿ok? ¿Los, uh, los pudieron bajar? ¿Los pudieron obtener? Yes. Okay, good. I hope that you practice, that you take an advance of this material. Uh, you take an advance in this material and it helps you a lot. Okay, so let's start with our class. Thank you very much for the hand, the fingers over there. Uh, let's start for the class. Uh, I send it to WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, someone didn't get it, so please write to me on uh, out the group, and I will I'll be glad to send it to you. Okay, guys. So let's rock and roll. Yesterday, what was the topic that we were studying? What was the topic? 
Ajá. Uh -huh. What was the topic that we were studying? Uh, did you have fun? Ah, did you did, have fun? Did you have fun. Okay, good. And uh, uh -huh. what else about the class? What else about the class? Uh huh. So we were talking about what? Uh huh. What is the topic? Okay, we were talking about shorts, fun activities, vacations, and so on. Uh huh. Exactly. So this is our class number ten. This is session uh, section uh, uh, session ten. And remember this, this is the third week, so necesitamos completar la sección 4 y el 50% de la sección 5 que les enviaron por ahí. Uh, por eso es la, el, el trabajo que les envié para que ustedes practiquen también y eso les ayude. Okay, so, and uh, were we talking about the present, the future, or the past? What was the, uh, what, what was the present, future, or past? The past. Ah, we were talking about the past. Yeah. So let me go back a little bit over here. No. Nope. Um, let me just go back a little bit over here. And uh, so, yes, we were talking about the past. Okay. Remember that we are studying uh, positive and negative uh, statements with the simple past. Okay with regular verbs. How do we form the past tense of regular verbs? How do we form the past tense of regular verbs? By adding what? By adding? Uh-huh. Uh, 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 agree, ED. ED, uh, most uh, of the verbs, the majority of regular verbs, we only add ED. Look. Watch, stayed. Uh, what is the characteristic of uh, shop? And what is the characteristic of, uh, uh, well, no, not yet, not yet. And for example, for example, the verb exercise, what do we do? We add only B. Only, letter, D. Letter D. Only letter D because the verse ends in E. So there is not an extra E. So like live, smoke, exercise, and some others. And what is the characteristic of a uh, uh, shop? Before adding ED, what do we add? We double? We double? E Double, little, little, uh -huh. We double the last consonant, like stop, uh, shopped, and some others over there. So, but the majority of the verse, we only add ed, like except study, I uh, would we'll say study it. Okay, so let's listen to this one quickly. Oh, and what is the characteristic of, uh, of uh, negative sentences? Uh, change the verb, uh, the verb normal. Okay, uh, the verb stays because we use did not, we use the verb in the simple form, base form, study, watch, stay, shop, play, uh, exercise, and so on, okay? So let's listen to this one, not to the other ones. Page 93, exercise three. Grammar focus. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched TV. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't 
equals did not. Okay. Spelling. So uh, okay, so we can use, when we make uh, negative sentences, one of the things we can use the full form. What is the full form? I did not study on Saturday. I did not watch TV, watch a movie. I did not stay out. I did not shop for clothes. Those are the full form. And it's okay, but people tend to use I didn't, okay? And one of the things, ah, another characteristic. Look at the, uh, uh, look at the subjects. Look at the subjects. What are the subjects that we have over there? Uh huh. You the uh, the negative uh -huh. form. Uh huh. What for, subject? For all, 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 all things. Affirmative, affirmative, and negative. For all this, the people, for all the subject pronouns, so for all the people, the ver the form does not change. It's the same one for everybody over there. Affirmative and negative. I didn't study. You didn't watch. She didn't stay. We didn't shop. We, uh, they didn't exercise. Or the positive, the other word. So let's... Uh, uh, Sorry, what's uh let me see the ah okay mm -hmm. but you're there. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you very much. Okay, but you're there. Okay, so let's go and do the whoops, what happened? I changed the oh and remember that we use uh time expressions. Okay, when we talk about the past, these are the time expressions. For example, last night. We had a class, or I can say, we had a class last night. Uh, but yesterday morning, I took a shower, okay? Irregular verb. Or I can say, I took a shower yesterday morning. But when I use it at the beginning of the sentence, I use comma. Last night, we... Uh, last night, comma, we had a class. When it's uh, at the end, no comma. We say, we had a class last night, okay? So those are the, the time expressions. Uh, let me, I don't know how to raise this one. Okay. Okay, let's uh, do the application before I, uh, where were we, we here, I guess. Okay, yesterday when we finished the class, we were on this one. We say the majority of the verbs we add ed, okay? For example, watch, played. Mr. Lopez, why play, we add ed? Ah, because ends uh, in a Y preceded by a vowel sound. So that's why we uh, ed. So the verbs ending in, E, add, D, did, add, D. For example, exercise, live. This was on the material, so there is no need for you to write it down. For verse ending with a consonant plus Y, change the Y to I, and before adding ED. So we say study it, try, uh, try it. For some verbs ending on a vowel plus a consonant, que no son muchos, like try, like study and try, there are um, a few, that, but not many. So we use ed and double the last consonant, like shopped, stopped. Okay, you had this one on your material over there. Aha, uh -huh. what it will be, Let's, what is the instructions? Teen, uh, Abel, Herminio, read the instructions, please. Abel. Minor, read the instructions. Okay, continues talking about his weekend. Complete the sentence. Okay. 
who wants to do the first one? On Friday night, so the verb is wait. What will, what will be on Friday night? Only agree TV. Waiting. Uh, uh -huh, waited. So on Friday night, uh, uh -huh, teen waited for a good call. But my girlfriend didn't call. Didn't call. Okay, you got like, if you have the exercise available over there, like you have like one minute, like minute and 30 seconds, uh, do the rest, please. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see so I see the ones on camera. So you're working good. Excellent. On the first part I missed that over there on Friday night, teen waited. I missed the most important, the subject pronoun. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes, miss. Cuando es el verbo write, escribir, ¿Por qué cambia también la vocal? Porque ah. al traducirlo aparece como rot. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, yes, es rot. En fact, es el último verbo de la lista. Ok, es uh, right, rot. Because that's a regular verb. That's not regular. It's irregular. Por eso le cambia. Gracias. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Sí, ahí está en la lista. Lo vamos a practicar. Thank you. Any doubt, anything, please feel free to watch. Okay, how are you doing? Finish? Okay, uh, Catherine, let's start for you. Catherine Andrea, I guess. Me dice que se disculpe, no le escucho bien. Uh, let's say, so it says, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just read, read the sentence and, and give the answer. I uh, just stayed home. Uh -huh. At... Uh -huh. And finish the sentence. Um... Watch, watch, watch this television. Watch television. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elsa, Elsa, Cecilia, the next sentence. Um, Saturday, um, visited. I visited my friend. Frank. My friend Frank. Okay. Ah, okay. We talked. Okay. Uh, we talked. Uh huh. And um, listen. And listen to music. To music. Thank you. Uh, Luis Edenilson. 
In the evening. In the evening, he invited. Invited me. Invited. Uh, invite, invited some. Uh -huh. Invited some friend over and we. Cook. Cook. We cook. Uh -huh. We cook. Good. A great meal. A great meal. Okay. Meal. Good. Good. Thank you. And uh, let's see, Nubia. I didn't work. I didn't. Very hard. Uh -huh. Very hard on Sunday. Okay. I good. didn't study. I didn't study at all. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, Robert and Alberto finish. I just walk it to uh -huh. the mall and shop. And shop. Okay. I just work uh, to the mall and shop. Okay. Uh, the meaning of uh, milk. Uh, what is a meal? I lost it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Ah, here. Uh, the meaning of meal. What is this one? What is meal? We cooked a great meal. Um, una grandiosa comida. Uh, okay, yeah, it's food. Okay, when you refer a meal, a meal, so it's the food that you eat. For example, there are three meals during the day. In the morning, let me see, let me see. In the morning, we have breakfast. In the afternoon, what do we eat? What do we eat in the afternoon? Lunch. Lunch. We eat lunch. In the evening, we have? Um, dinner. 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 So those are the three meals that we have uh, during the day. Breakfast, in the morning breakfast, in the afternoon lunch, in the evening meal. And the word, and there is another word, this one, just, just. What is this one? Just, let me see if I lo puedo escribir aquí. It's, uh, uh, no, here. Just, it means O-N-L-Y. No lo puedo escribir. Only, that's just, only. I only stayed uh, home and watched television. And instead of just, just, I can use only. I only stay home and watch television. So those are the meaning of the, uh, some words over there. Uh, I need uh, two volunteers. Who would like to read the, the paragraph? One boy and one girl. Who would like to read the paragraph? Uh huh. Okay, Glenda. <laughs> <laughs> read it, please. Yeah, on, on, on Friday night, read the whole paragraph. On Friday, on Friday night, watch it. For good car, but my girlfriend didn't car and just stayed home and watch television on Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. And this my friend Frank, we talk and listen uh, to music. Me. Uh huh. In the evening. In the evening, he invites some invited friends, some friends invited over, and we cook and great meal. Mm -hmm. I did work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. Just walked to the mall. 
to the mall and talk. Okay, help me with the microphone over there, please. Thank you. Very good, uh, Glenda. Thank, uh, let's see a boy. Who would like to read? Uh, a boy. Uh, Rudy, uh, Rudy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, could you read it? Could you read the paragraph, please? Okay. Um, on Friday, on, on Friday night, waited for a good calling, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched watch the television. On Saturday, I visit my friend Frank. We talked and listening. Listening to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over. Me. Mm -hmm. Invite some friends over, and we cook a great meal. I didn't work very hard on sun Sunday. I didn't study at all, and I just walked to the mall and I shopped and shopping. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, it says, on Friday night, I waited for a good call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched television. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked it to the mall and shopped and shopped. Okay, you have uh, one minute and 30 seconds. Everybody read the, the, the paragraph behind microphone, please. Okay, read it, individual. Okay. With a loud voice. Oh. <clears throat> Leon en voz alta. On Friday night. Ah, be, be, behind, behind microphone, Don Julio, que se sienta más confortable. Please help me with the cameras. Okay, raise your uh, finger when you finish. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Kelly. Finish. Raise your finger. Okay. Okay. I, I have a question, teacher. Yes, do. Yes, Don Julio. Uh, I I understand the what um, the word "just" mm -hmm. is meaning only. only. Yes. When you when use only um, or just. Uh, usually this one, we use it, we use it when we write something like in this case, uh -huh. and only when I am expressing something, for example, I can say, I was only kidding. It was a joke. Okay. But uh, you, uh, there is not a big, a uh, big difference when you use it, because I said, uh, also by just, we usually use it when we write something. And instead of only we use just. 
in this case, maybe using the two words. Uh, I, I can say no. I I only stay or no. I use stay. It's more formal if you use uh, if we say I just stay uh -huh. home. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's more formal. It is the the, different. It is different. There is not a big difference. More... Yeah, there is not a big difference. Yeah. But when we use for something, so you can say. Ah, okay. Okay, welcome. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what is next. Let me just uh, 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 take this one only. Okay. Um, okay, so here we have uh, some sentences. These sentences are about you. For example, me. I can say yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I mean, I can say yesterday I watched television. Last night I stayed home. Last week, last week I didn't exercise every day. I'm talking about me, okay? Last month I didn't shop for clothes. Last year, I didn't visit deep, a different country. That's me. What about you? Write sentences uh, using uh, the affirmative or negative about you. Daniel Michelle, what about number one? What it will what will be for you? It will be affirmative or negative? Negative. Uh-huh. Tell me what will be the negative for you. I didn't watch television. I did it yesterday, I didn't watch television. You see, this is what I was telling you. When we use time expressions at the beginning of the sentence, we use comma. Thank you, Tatiana, very good. Uh, Nubia Beatriz, what about number two? What will be number two for you? I stayed, uh -huh. I stayed at home. Ah, okay, last night, give me a complete sentence, please. Last night, I stayed at home. Okay, good. And uh, Luisa de Nilsson, what would be number three for you last week? Last week, I did exercise every day. Ah, so you did exercise every day or you didn't exercise every day? Didn't. Ah, ah you didn't. Okay, good. Okay, good, Luis. Uh, Emily. Uh, number four, what will be for you number uh, number four? Last month, I shopped for clubs. Ah, good, excellent. Okay, excellent. Okay, what about for the, uh, Marvin? What will be number five for you? And last year, I didn't visit a different country. Okay, so I last year you did and visit last country. So the sentences can be affirmative or negative, okay? So I hope that you practice over there. Okay, pronunciation. What is this one? Simple past, ed endings. Uh, Don Julio, help me with the learning objective. Notice the pronunciation of ED. ED. Learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. Simple past verbs. So we have the word that the, the sound that ends in T, the sound that ends in D, and the sound that is just like invited, visited. Okay. I like those sounds because they are very simple. Okay, so let's see. Page 93, exercise four, 
Pronunciation Simple Past ED Endings Part A. Listen and Practice Notice the pronunciation of ED. These verbs end in t. t, t worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. d cleaned. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay, one more time and make the sound. And try to repeat behind microphones, okay? Page 93, exercise 4, pronunciation. Simple past ED endings. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of ED. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay, open microphones. It will be a little uh, Page noisy. Page 93, exercise 4, repeat. pronunciation. Open microphones. Simple past ED endings. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of ED. These verbs end in t. t, 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 t. Okay, verb. Worked. 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 Watched. 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 These verbs end in d. 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 Okay. D. Cleaned. 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 Stayed. 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 The verse will be cleaned. Stayed. Mm -hmm. Stayed. These verbs end in id. 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 Uh -huh. Invited. 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 Visited. Visited. Or you say visited, okay? You say like invited, visited, rented, all of the words that enter in in a team uh, sound, so they sort. Okay, there are some words in part B. The verbs are, what are the verbs? What are the birds? Number one is cooked. cooked. The other one? Exercise. Exercise. Listening. 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 Uh, needed. 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 I guess needed. you identify the sound. Needed. Needed. Uh -huh. Shopped. 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 And and waited. Waited. Yes, waited. waited. Okay, okay, let's listen. Let's listen and read. Page 93, exercise 4, part B. Listen and write these verbs under the correct sounds. Cooked. Exercised. Listened. Needed. Shopped. Waited. Okay, uh, try to write the verse in the under the correct column. They sound like the and the invited, okay, waited or visited. Okay, so let's listen. Page 93, 
Exercise 4, Part B. Listen and write these verbs under the correct sounds. Cooked. Ex exercised. Listened. Needed. Shopped. Waited. Okay, one more time. I make a pause and you try uh, to write in your notebook uh, under the correct color. Page 93, exercise 4, part B. Listen and write these verbs under the correct sounds. Cooked. The next one. Exercised. The next one. Listened. Needed. Shopped. Waited. Which birds yeah. do you write under T sound? The first column. Which birds do you write over there? Take a wild guess. Which birds do you write over there? Cool. Uh-huh. Okay, good. And another one? Cooked. Someone else? What was the other bird that you write over there? So we have worked. What? Cooked. Shopped. Shopped. Good, excellent. Okay, under the D sound, cleaned, cleaned the estate. estate. Uh huh. Let's see. What was it? Okay, it's exercise. Another. Needed. Ah, listen. Needed is over there, and that because you see needed. And waited. So the okay. last verse, lo voy a hacer yo porque son más fácil. <laughs> what are the last words? In column. Needed like, and waited. Needed and waited. Okay. Those verses are very simple. But don't worry, this is, you got it after a lot of practice. Okay. So it's not at the beginning. So, uh, but I, it's important to uh, pronounce correctly that the words, for example, me. I never said that when I refer to a sabana, I always use blanket because it's easy uh, for people like us to say something that we don't want to, okay? We don't want to offend people. Okay, so let's see the grammar. Now, ED to form the past tense of regular verbs, we add ed to the majority of the verbs. The verbs that in, in e, we add only for the past tense of regular verbs? Only did. Only did. Good. For the verbs that in y preceded, preceded by a consonant, any consonant, we drop the wives, we drop it, and we change, and we uh, substitute it for, for, what letter? We drop the Y, we change the Y for? Follow. E, e uh -huh, for I, for I, which is an, an, an uh, and in English, I before adding, like uh, Glenda guess says, uh, ed. Okay, so those are the regular verse. Now, irregular verse. Why do we call the verse irregular? 
do you do you have any idea why do we call the birds irregular because chain or ah oh. yes because they have their own form okay so it's uh, sometimes the verb is totally different, the past tense, from the original verb. So we're going to see. Okay, Miriam, Janet, help me with the learning objective, please. Practice simple past statements with irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, thank you, Sang. Thank you, Miriam. Yeah, practice simple passive statements like we did, okay? Remember that simple passive statements are affirmative. It can be affirmative or negative. So let's see uh, and what it is. For example, look over there. Let's listen and look. Page 94, exercise five, grammar focus. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Okay, so I send you these audios for you to practice. Okay, listen and repeat the sentence. But let's do it over here. So behind microphone, so I will make a stop. So page 94, exercise five, grammar focus. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. Everybody repeat. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You got yeah. up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. We didn't meet our teachers. You came home late. You came home late. You didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. They didn't have a party. Okay, what are the character? What type of sentences do we have over there? What are the types of sentences? Uh huh. What type of sentences do we have? For example, say I did my homework. I didn't do the laundry. What type positive of sentence? Positive and negative. Positive. Statement. Positive and negative statements, yes. Okay, what is the characteristic of the positive? For the positive we use the present tense or the past tense? The past tense. And the past tense. Remember that some experts nowadays, they say uh, verb one is present, simple present. Verb two is the past statement. And what are the characteristics of the negative? I didn't do the laundry. Uh huh. What is the characteristic of the negative? Uh, the verb not change. 
No, the verb, the principal verb does not change because we use in the auxiliary verb, the helping verb, did. Okay, that is the helping verb, did. So I guess I got a, say, a sentence formation or a statement formation. It says, what is uh, in the simple present? I mean, in the positive, what is the characteristic? What is the characteristic? Subject plus? Simple, simple past verb. verb. Simple past verb plus? Plus the rest. Plus the rest. Remember that in our school, we, the teachers say the compliment. Well, nowadays we say plus the rest. Okay, for example. I have, I have breakfast. breakfast. I had breakfast this morning. Well, remember that I can use uh, past, uh, past time expressions. Uh, the negative, what is the characteristic? Open your microphones, don't be afraid. If. Subject plus didn't plus past form verb plus, plus the rest. Plus the rest, yes. So, example. I didn't, I didn't have, have breakfast. breakfast. I didn't have breakfast this morning, okay? Now, I, I need to have breakfast because I my diabetes. Okay, so those are the sentence formation. So please practice this one, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's let's see. You have this one. If it's no lo tienen a mano, please complete the chart in your notebook. You have like two minutes. We say, uh, both the present by eight. What is the simple um, present verb? What is this, the base form? It. It, okay. Ready? Ready? Yes. Okay, let's listen and check. Page 94, exercise five, part A. Complete the chart, then listen and check. Buy, bought, eat, ate, feel, felt, make, made, Read, read, ride, road, see, saw, sit, sat, take, took. Okay, the first worry was eight, 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 eight. Fell. 
feel. Feel. Made. Make. Make. Red. Real. Red. 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 Roll. Right. Right. Uh -huh. It sounds like this one, but it's right. Uh, it's ride a horse, ride a bicycle, ride a motorcycle, okay? Ride a something that you go like like this, okay? Uh, so, see, see. see. and uh, sat, sit, sit, took, take, take, were. Uh huh. Right. Mm, right. Very, very close. Uh, where no. is where? Uh, where? Uh, wear a shirt, wear the, pants. Uh huh. Exactly. Vestir usar. It will be. Okay. Let's listen and repeat behind microphone. Okay. I will not stop. Try to go with the audio. Okay. Page 94. Exercise 5, Part A. Complete the chart. Then listen and check. Buy. Bought. Buy. Bought. Eat. Eat. Ate. Ate. ate feel, feel. Felt. Felt. Make. Make. Made. Made. Read. 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 Ride. Ride. Road. Road. See. See. Saw. Saw. Sit. Sit. Sat. Sat. Take. Take. Took. Took. Where were. Okay, so those are the scene, the past tense, simple past tense, verb two of irregular verbs. This one is the list that I did it for you. Okay. Because in your material says, see list birds at the end of the material. But there is not, um, it's not over there. So I pick up the 50 most common irregular verbs. And this is the audio that I did. It doesn't sound like uh, the studio, but uh, it will help. It says, be, was, where, become, became, begin, Began, bring, brought, buy, bought, choose, chose, come, came, do, did, drink, drunk, dry, drove, eat, ate, fall, fell. Feel, felt. One and the, the one before is felt. Look, felt. And the other is felt. Felt with a T sound. Okay. Fine, found. Fly, flew. Forget, forgot. Get, got. Give, gave. Go, went. Have, had, hear, heard, keep, kept, know, knew, live, left, uh, land, lent. In the in the in the audio, this sounds like T, but it's D sound. Lent, land, land. Lent, okay. So in the audio is like T. Let, let, lose, loss, make, made, meet, met, pay, paid, put, put, read, read, okay. Run, run, say, said. And so on. We say see, so, sell, sold, 
sen, send, sent, sin, san, sit, sat, I sleep. Look at this one. It's not s. It's sleep, slap, speak, spoke. Okay, come from here. Okay. Stand, stood. Twin, swan. Take, took. Teach, taught. Tell, told. Think, thought. Understand, understood. Where, were. Right, wrought. Okay, so those are the verbs. Please use the audio. Don't be afraid to use it. Okay, let me just uh, take uh, the attendance. I have to open the attendance. Okay, okay, I guess this is mine. Yes. Okay, uh, Abel Herminio Mendez. Present, Mr. Ana Gabriela Alvarenga García. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre Gutiérrez. Present, Mr. Elsa Cecilia Carranza Rodríguez. Present. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro. Present. Uh, Glenda Elizabeth Antillón Orellana. Present, Mr. Jacqueline Lorena Campos Chávez. Present. Julio Antonio Orantes Herrera. Present teacher. Carl, Karen Vanessa Aguilar Romero. Car, Carla Susana Ángel López. Present. Catherine Andrea Sánchez Díaz. Present teacher. Crisia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present. Luis Edenilson Díaz Valle. Present. Eh, Marilyn Ruby Mulato Gaitán. Present. Marvin Rudy Mulato Gaitán. Present, Mr. Minor Al Alexander Avelar Avelar. Present, teacher. Miriam Janet Villalobos Segovia. Present. Nubia Rivas Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Robert Adalberto García González. Present. Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. Present. Tatiana Michelle Pineda Gaitán. Present. Y Senia Esmeralda Chávez Lozano. Are you there? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being in the class. Thank you for attending classes. Bye-bye. See you bye, tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye. bye.